Hi, this is Jada4 of PopPhoto.com and uh, Inside Digital Photo. I'm here at the uh, Photo Plus Expo in New York City uh, with uh, Christian Earhart, uh, the marketing manager for Leica Camera. And today uh, he's going to show us the new M8 uh, digital rangefinder camera. It's uh, one of the most uh, highly anticipated uh, cameras from Leica in quite some time. So uh, Christian, uh, thanks for uh, joining us and uh, take us through some of the features of the new M8. Thanks so much for having me. It's our first uh, professional digital rangefinder camera. It's a 10 megapixel digital camera. Uh, all the features you can dream of, but of course with Leica it's all about the essentials. So that's what we have incorporated into the camera. You will be able to use all the Leica lenses we have ever manufactured since 1954. Uh, obviously, uh, all the new lenses which we designed will also work on our 35mm camera, so you're more flexible than ever before. Um, the M8 has a large monitor, it's a 2.5 inch LCD screen to preview all the pictures you have taken. You can zoom into the picture, preview the picture and actually see one pixel on the screen is equivalent to one picture pixel in your image file. You have all the different um, operation modes. You can select the ISO between one, uh, 160 and 2500. You will also be able to set the white balance and all the other modes you are known or you're, you know from uh, other digital cameras. You can operate the camera in aperture priority as you are familiar with it from, uh, from the M8, but you can also select the aperture speed and uh, the aperture and the speed manually depending on your choice. Now, can you tell us uh, why a digital rangefinder and not a DSLR? We also have a DSLR, so um, this is just on the side. The digital rangefinder camera is a preferred camera for travel photographers, street photographers. They can uh, see what's going on outside of the frame line. Therefore, it's a great camera for travel photography. And at the decisive moment, you can take the picture and capture whatever you want to capture. Now the true test of this camera is going to be uh, when we put it in the uh, Pop Photo Labs. I know it's in there now, and uh, we're anxiously awaiting kind of how it scores on our image quality test. But uh, ha have you uh, tested much? I'm, I'm sure you have. But how does it perform in low light, for example? Oh, it's a great camera. Uh, around our booth, you can actually see pictures taken by Costa Manos. Uh, he's a famous Magnum photographer, and you can see the pictures. Uh, it's a perfect quality. They were taken uh, between 160 and 640 ISO, great image quality, very brilliant, very vibrant, perfect for, for everyday photography. And we're talking, how many lenses are we talking about that fit this, uh, this model? Currently we have 16 lenses on the market, but of course since you can go back to 1954, in the last 52 years we have manufactured many lenses and all of them can be used. So with the M8, you're definitely paying for quality. This is not an inexpensive camera. So uh, tell us about uh, how much is this going to cost to get into the system? The Leica M8 retails for $4,800. Uh, you're actually buying a camera which has the highest resolution image available on the market um, for the simple reasons that we left the Moray filter out. You will get the sharpest picture available on the market and uh, that's what you're paying for. And uh, quality German engineering, I assume. Absolutely. Uh, all lenses, as well as the M8, are handmade in Germany, the same as it was done in 1954 when we introduced the first camera, the Leica M3. Well, great. Well, Christian, I really appreciate your time. Uh, the M8 is uh, an amazing camera, and uh, thank you for, uh, for uh, showing it to us. Thanks so much for having me. And definitely check back uh, for our uh, full test results uh, in a future issue of uh, Popular Photography and Imaging Magazine. I'm Jada4, and uh, that's the wrap.